my channel. Today I'm doing a tutorial slash talking about um, a new product that I picked up from Sephora recently. Um, as you can probably see from the title, um, what I'm talking about and using today is the Kat Von D Me Vira Loca palette. Um, so this is a color wheel palette basically. Packaging is like this, it actually slides out, it doesn't open or close. They have a little display on the back of what's inside. So there's 24 shades and it is a mix of matte and shimmer. And what's really unique and what's really cool about this product and what drew me to it, you know, from like when she first advertised it long before it was released, is that it actually is designed as a color wheel. So as you can actually see here, the colors are opposite as they would be in a normal color wheel. So you have, you know, your purples opposite, from, your blues opposite from your oranges and your greens opposites from your purples and pinks. So it's actually designed in such a way that you could take, you know, complementary colors sort of from across. Um, and then there's also some neutral colors in the center here. So in the center you have a couple of shimmer highlight shades, a matte a base shade or highlight shade, some darker matte colors, and then around this, these are a mix of matte and shimmer. And a couple of them have a little bit of actually flecks of glitter in them. I was kind of hesitant at first to pick it up because, I don't know, I feel like when something is really hyped on, and especially with holiday palettes, a lot of brands, like, the products that they will release for the holidays are not necessarily the same quality and the same formulas that they release in their normal products throughout the rest of the year. So I really do like Kat Von D eyeshadows in her other palettes that I've tried, which are the, I have the Interstellar and the um, Shade and Light Eye, but my expectation for this one was that the formula wasn't going to be as good, um, just because that's usually how holiday palettes are. That's my experience with holiday palettes. Um, they're super densely pigmented though, and they're really soft, and they are easy to blend, and they're easy to work with. So um, some of the shades, you have to like pack on the color a little bit, and of course you can put a white base or a black base to really help the color to pop more. You can use colored eyeliners and things like that, but in my opinion, this is probably the best like limited edition palette that I've ever picked up that I've you know really been impressed with um, and I would definitely recommend that you pick it up if you like color if you think that you would you would you would use it um, I think I'm gonna find myself reaching for this one a lot and obviously you know I'm gonna get my money's worth out of it so yeah that's uh, my thoughts on this palette um, if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this look keep on watching thanks Diving right in, I'm going in with Mulder as my base shade on a Adelium 776 all over my lid. Then I'm going in with Lyric as a highlight using the same brush, just taking that up to the brow bone and blending it out. Then I'm going in with Noble into my crease, same brush, just as a transition shade and blending that out. I'm going in with a Adelium 781 in the shade Harpsichord, which is this shimmery copper color. I'm taking that into my crease and just blending that out, sweeping the brush back and forth. Then I'm going in with Vox, which is this deep brown, using the same brush, and I'm actually just taking that all over the lid. Um, sort of as a base for color, but I didn't want to use a liner, I just wanted to make this a little bit more soft. So I'm blending that all over the lid and into the crease a little bit, blending it into the harpsichord color. Then I'm going in with Rewind, which is this shimmery maroon all over the lid, blending it out. Like I said, I'm kind of making this up as I go along, so I put a lot of color on. Um, <laughs> then I'm going in with a, a 776 brush again, just to blend the edges. I don't have any product on the brush, I'm just blending everything out. Then I'm going in with the shade Love, and I'm blending the edges. This is like a shimmery lilac color, and I'm sweeping that on the lower lash line as well, just kind of keeping that really soft all around the edges. Then I'm going in with Anthem, and this is a Delium 712, I believe it's a wet dry definer. I'm just putting this all over the center of my lid, and onto the lower lash line as well, which is kind of pointless because I'm going to put other color there later. <laughs> then I'm going in with Skulls and a pencil brush. I'm tapping that to my inner corner just to highlight that area. Kind of blending that out as well with a fluffy brush. And then I'm going in with Echo on the same wet dry definer brush and I'm taking that all over the lid, blending it out. This is like a blue purple and it has little micro flecks of glitter in it. So I'm kind of just blending that into the crease. As you can see, the color is not incredibly intense yet. 
I'm going in with then with this Adelium 783 just to blend the edges into the crease. Then I'm going to tight line my eyes, so I'm going to my upper lash line, and I'm also going to take that pencil onto my waterline on the bottom, basically from the outer corner, just about halfway in. And I'm going in with my Bobbi Brown Gel Liner and Adelium 762. Um, <laughs> some flaky skin on my face that I peeled off. Sorry, that's been there like the whole time. Um, basically mapping out the shape of the wing using the gel liner. And as you can see, um, I don't know, with gel liner, at least I feel like I don't get a really dark liner. So I like to go back over it with liquid. So I'm basically mapping out the shape of what I want and kind of creating that. And then I'm gonna go back in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner just to define everything, make it more dark, just make it stand out more. So basically tracing back over what I did with the gel. Um, and as you can see, I went for you know a pretty thick and a pretty defined wing, which it kind of goes well with you know this more colorful type of look. Um, then I'm gonna be taking the um, gel liner as well and going onto my lower or my waterline I should say um, so basically going back with the gel liner and basically smudging that out and then I'm gonna clean up the liquid liner um, I'm using Mac Painterly you can use a concealer I'm basically just going under that line to just make it a little bit more smooth and I'm going in with legend which is a gold color on a little pencil brush just sweeping that onto the waterline and then taking black metal which is the black eyeshadow on a flat edge brush and smudging out where I put that gel liner on the waterline too just to make it a little more smoky looking on there. Then I'm going in with the shade Vinyl, which is a matte lime green, and I'm taking that to basically the inner corner on my waterline. I'm taking this turquoise liner by Tarte, and I'm going to the outer corner of my waterline, kind of blending that in with the lime green. So I'm actually gonna drag that liner underneath the wing all the way out, and then I'm gonna smudge it out with that little pencil brush so that it actually comes all the way underneath that wing there, and it kind of blends out on the edges. Um, you can put as much of the lime green shadow on as you want to kind of blend the two together. Then I'm going in with Synth, which is this matte uh, bright blue, just to kind of blend over and blend that liner with that lime green shadow. Going back in with Echo, um, I just put lashes on. Sorry, I didn't film putting the lashes on, but I'm basically going back onto the lid because the color kind of faded a little bit and I want it to be really bright and intense. So um, taking the love color again, I'm basically blending Echo into the crease and the uh, brow bone, so just blending the edges. Um, and then I'm just taking a little more of the vinyl, the lime green, just to kind of brighten that area once again. Um, now doing my lips, I didn't film the product, but I'm using MAC Current Lip Liner, which is like a kind of burgundy purple color. So basically doing that all over the lips. Usually what I do is I'll do lip liner, then I blend it with a lip brush, and then I'll do lipstick. So that's what I'm doing here. It's just a clip of me putting on lip liner. <laughs> Probably could have made this a little faster. Um, so taking the lip brush, kind of just blending the edges. The reason I do that is because it just helps lip lipstick to go on a little bit easier. So I'm taking Stila Aria, which is this gorgeous purple color, filling everything in. And um, off camera, I did like clean up the edges a little bit with concealer. As you can see, I made a little bit of a mistake on the edge there. And we are all finished. All right, so that is the finished look. I thought it would be fun to pair it with like a dark vampy lip since I did purple on the eyes, just kind of pull it together. I was gonna do like a nude lip, but I do that a lot and I'm, I don't know. Nude lips are kind of, I like nude lips, but like I feel like I get boring when I just do nude lips all the time. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, like I said, I'm definitely gonna do more looks with this palette. Um, I've been loving this palette. I'm definitely gonna do other things with it. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any other ideas or any color combos you'd like to see with this palette. Um, if you have any questions about it, um, I didn't, I decided not to do like swatches and stuff because I feel like there are like a ton of videos on YouTube right now swatching this palette where you could find probably swatches of someone with your skin tone. But if you guys really do want to see swatches, I can do that. I would just say run out and buy it is what I would say. Just go get it because you don't need to see swatches of every color to know that it's a really great palette. So, um, yeah, thanks for joining me today and I will look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.